Yo, what up, though? The Lions is on the road this weekend against the Chargers, man. The Lions are 6-2. and two. The Chargers are 4-4. Four and four. And both of these football teams need a W this Sunday, man. The Chargers need a win to keep their wild card dream alive. And the Detroit Lions need a win to stay ahead of Minnesota for the NFC North because the Vikings are two games behind the Detroit Lions, man. So this is a big game for the Detroit Lions, man. It's a lot of pressure on them this week against the Chargers, man. The Chargers offense could get the Detroit Lions defense some problems if Justin Hubbard can play up to his potential, man, what everybody say. He can't be turning the ball over and throwing incomplete passes when people are wide open. And the wide receivers will have to make some plays if the Chargers want to come out this game with a W, man. Because the Chargers do have weapons on offense. Keenan Allen, we all know about Austin Eckler, one of the best running backs in the NFL, and he a nice receiving running back. So I think right there that might be a mismatch for the Lions defense. The Lions defense is very aggressive, though. I'm not going to hold y'all up. But their pass rush is okay, especially after you take – uh, what's his name, Hutchinson, out of the game, the Lions really don't have no pass rush after him. And I think that might can fall in the favor of the Chargers, man. Justin Herbert will have to use his legs against the Lions to keep plays alive and score some points on that defense. If he's standing in that pocket and sit around and wait for somebody to be open, his ass going to be a sin duck. It ain't going to pan out well for Justin Herbert if he play like that. I'm going to be real. I'm going to keep it real with y'all on this channel. But the Lions offense can give the Charger defense some problems, man. The Charger defense isn't that good of a defense, even though they got a lot of weapons on defense. They're going to need a DN, um, one of the Bosa. He's going to have to show up. He's going to have to put pressure on Jared Goff because everybody know how Jared Goff performs when he is pressure, man. He make dumb plays when pressure is on him. And a rookie running back gives. He had a breakout game against the against the Raiders. Will that will that continue against the Chargers? I don't know. The Chargers defense isn't that good anyway. So I could see him having a, 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 a big game. It might not be like the Raiders, but he might have a big game against that defense. And we all know the Lions have weapons on offense. And they just acquired a new wide receiver because they had no faith in J Mo. <laughs> That's exactly why they brought in another wide receiver. J Mo ass can't catch a cold if somebody tried to give it to him. But I don't know, man. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough game for both teams, man. Cause both teams, even though the Lions are six and two, this is a big game for the Lions, man. The Lions probably don't want to lose this game. And they on the upcoming schedule, you still got two games with Minnesota left, and you got the game at Dallas. So this right here is a this really is a big game for the Detroit Lions. But the Chargers need this game too, though. But which Charger team is going to show up? And which Lion team is going to show up on the road? Because we all know last year, Jared Goff wasn't good on the road. This year, it's been like a kind of different story, though. They've been playing good on the road. But the Lions running game been keeping them alive. And they offense been playing okay. The Lions just, to me, do not score enough points on offense. And that might be the Achilles heel when they play the Chargers for real, man. Because the Lions settle for too many field goals at the wrong damn times. But the Chargers, sometimes I can't even score no damn points. So I don't know who's going to win this football game. I ain't got no dog in this fight. I'm just giving y'all my outlook on the football game. And plus the Chargers is at the crib, but playing in L.A., do you really feel like you got home, you got home field advantage? I don't think so. People in L.A. just going to the football game to cheer for anybody. They don't give a fuck who playing football. They just want to watch a football game and cheer for anybody, man. But it's going to be a good game this weekend, man. This right here is a big game for the Lions, man, because the pressure is on them to win this game and stay ahead of the Vikings for the NFC North. Because one slip up, man, shit it, shit it getting real if they slip up this game against the Chargers, man. I told y'all how they remain the schedule looking, so I don't know, man. I just want to see a good football game at the end of the day, man. And I want to see how Justin Herbert play against that defense, man. Because I'm not a big fan of Justin Herbert. 
But a lot of people feel like he's a good quarterback. He done got paid, so it's time for him to to show people why the Chargers paid him the money they paid him, man. Let me know in the comment section below who y'all think will win this football game and why they will win this football game. I don't know. Like I said, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm just giving you my outlook on this football game.